Hello everyone, welcome to this video. The first question is which of the following statement are statements true about memory modeling in Verilog? Here the first option says memory can be defined as an array of type register at behavioral level. So option A is correct. And look at option C, both RAM and ROM can be modeled using vector of type register. Yes, we can model RAM and ROM using a vector type register. That's why answer A and C are correct here. The second question is, considering the following declaration of two-dimensional register type vector, that is REG, 0 is to A, memory, that is MEM, 0 is to B. This is how they have declared. Here also we need to find out which is uh, the true statement or which are the two true statements with respect to the memory modeling is considered. Here the option B is it models a memory of size B plus 1 cross A plus 1 bits. That is correct. B is correct. Why? Because 0 is to A in the sense it, it gives A plus 1 values. Similarly 0 is to B in the sense a vector size gives B plus 1 values. That's why B is correct and also it models a memory containing B plus 1 words with word size A plus 1 bits. That is also correct. Why? Because a vector size will be represented in 0 is to A. That's why that is the size of the word and number of words will be represented with 0 is to B after the identifier that is MEM. That's why option D is also correct. And then considering the following memory write operation, memory address, memory of address is equal to data. Here, if memory capacity is 256 cross 16, then size of address and data variable will be. What is the size of address and data variables we need to find out. Here, the correct answer is C. Since uh, 256 cross 16 is the size of the memory, here address is 8 bit and the data is 16 bit. 16 bit data in 256 locations to represent 256 locations 8 bit is sufficient. That's why C is the answer. And fourth one they have given some code uh, with the Verilog module fun one. Here reading and writing is going to be done. So here we need to find out again which is the true statement or the true statements with respect to this particular code. Uh, here if you look at the code, it is observed that within positive edge of the clock, write is going to happen and outside that an assigned statement is there that is readout is equal to RWO question mark which is checking what is RWO and assigning these values. So for this particular code is concerned here, uh, the answer is B. So the module realizes a RAM with asynchronous read and synchronous write. Write operation is happening within the uh, clock signal means positive edge of the clock and asynchronously read operation is performing. And question 5 which of the following is are considered as standard approach for memory modeling. Here we need to identify which is the standard approach. So here the variable of type input output that is in out are used to read and write memory uh, data in memory that is wrong. So the answer is B here separately we need to separate variable of type input and output need to be used. And then question 6 identify the correct statement or statements for declaring register bank using Verilog. Here they have given four statements again three statements out of these uh, the third option two or more register banks can be accessed concurrently for read and write operation in a clock cycle that is correct and the next seventh question has five multiple answers here we need to choose multiple answers which of the following statement is true about pipelining or pipeline implementation so with respect to the pipelining is concerned a pipeline implementation reduces overall execution time of a individual instruction of instruction in a processor. Yes, it is correct. It reduces overall execution time. And then if you look at option D, a pipeline implementation increases the throughput of the processor. 
because of reduction in the time required it increases the throughput that's why answer is d this is how we can uh, solve 1 to 7 questions and 8 9 10 questions will be having some sort of calculations that's why i will stop here and we'll see those answers in a next video thank you if you have any suggestions for 7 8 9 sorry 8 9 10 questions you just comment below